Hi, Tisha. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so no excited. Worries. Thank you so much for, for coming on. I'm finally meeting you in person. Kind yeah, of. exactly. <laughs> I know we've chatted um, online and, and on the phone, on the but phone, this is the yeah. first face to face. So exciting. Yeah. Yay. Tisha is the owner and CEO of LOIS Beauty and uh, actually the first black owned cosmetics brand that um, that's in Sephora with a clean stamp on it. Yeah. So, um, Tisha, do you want to tell us a little bit of your inspirations, a little bit about yourself and the brand? Yeah, for sure. I mean, so I've always loved clean. I've been a clean beauty industry vet for like 18 years. Um, I started off as a makeup artist and um, went to work for some clean brands. And my latest role that I left before I started my own brand was a very well-known clean um, brand as well. And for me, um, it was really personal because I really saw a lot of misrepresentation as well as a huge white space in the clean beauty industry. And I just felt there were a lot of communities that were overlooked. Mm -hmm. um, it, I found it very difficult to find my shade range and products that work yes. for my skin tone, pigmentation, all of those things in the clean beauty um, industry specifically. I think we've made a lot of progress, I think overall in beauty, but I think clean still has a long way to go. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why I created LYS and which means love yourself. Yes. Um, and yeah, it's and I love your symbol and your packaging. There, yeah. like this triangle that goes that's up. Yeah, tell so, us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the triangle symbol is the delta symbol, and the delta symbol means change. Mm -hmm. And for me, change is really important because one, I really want to be instrumental in changing the clean beauty industry and really yeah. um, shaping um, this new approach to diversity. And then also, it's a nod to okay. yourself that you, at any moment, you can change the relationship and how you treat yourself. And that goes back to the whole love yourself conversation. A lot of times people um, don't put themselves first. And I wanted to just make my packaging as well as the brand name that reminder for people that, you know, you should always put I yourself. Love that. Yeah. No, that's so true. And then I think when we were chatting about it, we talked a little bit about that too. Like I came from the mental health space. Yeah. And so I used to hear this all the time. People feel so bad if they say no to others. Mm -hmm. um, even if they couldn't do something, they'll, they'll say yes, just to please others. But yeah, your brand totally reminds us, you know, your brand, your symbol, your packaging, everything, and just what you stand for. Yeah, that absolutely. sometimes drawing that boundary is serving yourself so that you can be there for your loved ones absolutely. instead of instead of putting others first all the time and you're just emptying yourself out. Exactly. Self-care yeah. um, is not selfish. You have to really love yourself first. You can't love others really wholly and fully if you don't have that self-love. And yeah. so, and I think it really goes into everything that we do when you're, you know, interacting with people and how you approach, um, you know, um, interacting with others, your kindness, your, your yeah. patience, um, all of those things, like when you're happy and you're like, like fully fulfilled, like mm -hmm. you just are a nicer, better person to be around. And, yeah. and I think that sometimes, you know, if we don't have that self-love and confidence, it all mm -hmm. comes back to, you know, having that internal confidence in yourself. Yeah. Um, it portrays on all of our relationships subliminally. I don't think we realize it, but it does. It affects us when we don't care for ourselves first mm -hmm. and give ourselves the attention that we need. So it's really, it's really important. I love that. Yeah, no, it's so true. It's so true. And um, so it was just May, the Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, this conversation got brought up a lot too, that if you're not fulfilled yourself, exactly like what you said, you're not going to be able to love other people. And in return, sometimes you might even do something that's damaging and you don't really mean it. That's not who you are, but you do it out of, not out of spite, anger or whatever. It's really because you have that emptiness inside you and then you don't know how to fill it. So you kind of do whatever it is to fill that void. And yeah. in Instead, you really hurt yourself and others. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. No, you hit the nail on the head for sure. Absolutely. I love that your brand yeah. stands Thanks. just equal to mental health. Like that's like my, my, my big thing, you know? I love it. <laughs> I love, and I love how much you are involved in mental health and how passionate you are about it. Yeah. I think it's such an important cause right now to continue to focus on because mm -hmm. I think so many people don't really understand how they're feeling. Yeah. I think also coming out of COVID and being yes. in a period of isolation, so many people need those sort of resources and yeah. um, just information. And we all come on social media and we like, 
or watching everyone else live. And if we're not happy or we're not taking the time to care for ourselves, it makes social media can make mental health worse. Yes. And, and so the comments. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. And so it's yeah. really important to have that positive content. And that's what our goal is. You know, as a brand, we want to offer more positive content. So when you're scrolling through your feed, it helps brighten up the page and maybe yeah. give you an, an outlet to see positivity versus sometimes the negative place that social media can be. That's awesome. So yeah. for my brand, Kana, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so I came from mental health field. And so when we created our formulas, and I know you create your own formula too, so I can't yeah. wait to get into that, formulate with aromatherapy in it as well. So mm. the scent and everything, they're not... Um, they're not mass produced, like, you know, one scent for all. Every batch is going to smell a little bit different. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so everything is from like raw materials and we don't make anything that's like a set color, set scent or anything like that. Sometimes this batch of lavender mass might smell a little bit strong with sandalwood or a little bit, uh, a little bit strong mm. in lavender because that's the batched from that season. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And then, um, so our sleeping mask, usually it's more calm because you're wearing it at night. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you're putting on your face, the olfactory really, really, um, helps interacting with aromatherapy and then you're relaxing and then if you're using the face oil usually during the daytime it has that uplifting citrus scent to really kind of like uplift your mood so I think that is really important to me just like your scent, your what you're wearing because it's on your face all day I long. love it it's by my bed like I can see it right from <laughs> here like literally on my nightstand because I love it I just love being able to like rub my skincare and oil on my face like right yeah. before I go to bed and yeah. and also like I I don't know if I'm allowed to do this but I rub it like on my hands too mm -hmm. that's okay and like, that's okay <laughs> and, like down that's there. Yeah, yeah. yes yes right here and also like your chest but make mm -hmm. sure I always say this too um when we put skincare on our neck like we don't want to drag it down yeah so it's always like um, upward yeah 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 you know it. oh so good and then that's it's another amazing. thing so so clean beauty, um, we hear that a lot in, in skincare, you know, yeah. your clean ingredients and whatever, but we don't hear it too much with cosmetics, the yeah. field that you come from. So can you yeah. tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. So I think, you know, the clean industry is really interesting because it's not regulated in any yes. spectrum makeup or skincare. And so it really allows for a lot of brands to just what I call like greenwash, like overcasting saying they're clean, they're clean. And yeah. it's become more common now um, that a lot of brands use that. And for me, our approach to clean is really focusing on strict formulation. We custom make all of our formulas yeah. to make yeah. sure that we're not only just leaving harmful or potentially harmful ingredients out of our formula, mm -hmm. um, taking the extra step to put added ingredients like skincare, things yes. that are really good for the skin in our formulas. Instead of using fillers, a lot of brands will use in makeup, mm -hmm. they'll use things like talc, they'll mm -hmm. use like lots of filler ingredients, mm -hmm. silicones. Silicones is a big one. We yes. don't use any of those ingredients in our products. For me, I'd rather supplement them with things like niacinamide or, yeah. you know, you know, different fruit extracts. Yes. You know, we want to make sure that we're, you know, providing extra ingredients that help make this skin thrive you're in your makeup so mm -hmm. long you know yeah. all day pretty much and I think it's really important that you have products on your skin that you can have confidence that are not going to create the very problem that most people wear makeup to cover when you think yeah. about it right you wearing makeup because you may want to cover a blemish or an imperfection I certainly mm -hmm. don't want my products to be contributing to making more blemishes and more imperfections in your skin yeah. I want to create a product that you can have confidence wearing and it's going to help your skin thrive and be good because I feel like personally makeup is something that we don't need we should never yeah. cover ourselves or hide our true selves we should be confident in who we are yeah. Makeup is really just an enhancement. It's a mood. Oh enhancement. my God, I it's, was waiting for you to say it is. It's like yes. it's like a different yes. you know, wardrobe or accessory, you know, a handbag. Like it should mm -hmm, be something mm -hmm. we choose to wear when we want to wear it. Not that we have to wear it and we yes. don't have confidence if we don't have it on. That's my approach to makeup. And so, so true. I, I don't want to put anything on my skin that's gonna make my skin worse than it already is. So I don't formulate products that have ingredients that I know could could do that. Yeah. So that's and how I, I approach clean. Yeah. 
Yes, and I remember、um, last year when we were talking about clean beauty and why I got into skincare instead of cosmetics at one of these conferences, and I did a pitch. And my thing was, you know, I didn't want to get into cosmetics cosmetics because I don't want people to feel like they need to like put things on their face to be beautiful. Like it、That's、should、right. be an enhancement, and skincare should be first. That was the whole thing. But、right. your cosmetics brand is so unique, and it's almost like cosmetics and Skincare in one. That's right. And you have great ingredients, and it's 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 formulated so well too. Lisa and I were actually just talking about your ingredient list earlier, and yeah, and then they're they're the shades are so beautiful. Thank you. Thank I would you so feel、much. so comfortable wearing that. Yeah,、know? it and it's meant for everyone too.、Yeah. And that was my 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 whole goal, right? It's like.、Yeah. Yes, I'm a woman of color, and yes, I formulate with women of color at the forefront when I develop my products. But they're、yeah. not only for women of color,、yeah. and I think it's very important that everyone feels included because that's the conversation. That's been my argument: is everyone hasn't been included. It、mm-hmm. would be a disservice for me to come in and then exclude、mm-hmm. a group of people、mm-hmm. and do the very same thing and only formulate to one certain, you know, demographic. Community, so for、right. me. I have, you know, products that range from the lightest skin tone to、yeah. the deepest skin tone. I want everyone to be able to wear very fair, beautiful peach tones and、yes. then very deep orange tones. Like, it's something that everyone can enjoy, not、mm-hmm. just only t- tailoring to what I like. I、mm-hmm. want to service anyone who's looking for clean products at an affordable price、yeah. that are just stinking cute for your vanity. You know, <laughs> like all the fun stuff of why we we buy makeup, right?、Yeah. It shouldn't be. So serious, but at、mm-hmm. the same time, I shouldn't have to sacrifice my skin in in using it. I'm so happy to hear. Yeah, that. so that's my approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Oh, and I love what you're doing、yeah. too. I love. Thank love, you, love, love thank、products. you, thank、Sweetie. you. So cool. <laughs> Thanks.、Um, so, how did you start? You know, obviously, you know, I already said a little bit of it, of it, but just that that.、Um, How how did you decide to cross that boundary? You know, I feel like a lot of people who are watching right now, they probably want to start their own business, or they probably、yeah. already did during pandemic. Yeah.、Um, and it's just, you know, I always tell people that boundary. Once you decide to cross over, you feel so free,、yeah. and you'll just know what to do. And but if you're behind this line, you're just like, I don't know, I'm kind of scared. I don't、yeah. know. But you don't know what you don't know, right? So、That's、just.、Great. So, how did you decide to just cross over? You, you know, I think、um, you just have to take a leap, honestly. And it's something that I think has always been a little bit of a, a a want for me, a part of my dream, a passion. So it makes it easy when、mm-hmm. it's something you're really passionate about. And I talk to people all the time. They're like, "Oh, I hate my job. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to do." And that's a difficult place to be. And if you're in that mindset, I would say, "Don't quit your job. You need to know what you want to do first before." <laughs> Your job, but if、yeah. you have a passion, do it. You know,、yes. you, you know what you want, do it. But also, you know, for people that say, you know, I don't know what I want to do, but I hate my job. I have to be here for like ten hours a day, whatever.、Yeah. And yes, it's not smart to quit your job, and while you still don't know what to do. But at the same time, I also feel like the more they spend time and energy at this place that they don't、yeah. like, that's true. They just know I don't like this, but I don't know what I like because you don't have time to explore. That's right. Your other hobbies. That's true. That's true. And and I think that what's important is at that moment they、yeah. should start to do other things that they think they may appreciate and enjoy. Yes, maybe yes. it's on the weekends. Maybe、mm-hmm. it's on the evenings after job or in the mornings before your job. Like I think、yeah. you have to find that passion. Explore the hobbies. Yeah, explore it because I think the most fulfilling thing for me is I don't feel like I've worked a day. Ever since I、yeah. started my own company, it's not work for me. It's so fulfilling.、Mm-hmm. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. I've cried more than I've ever cried. Oh my god! But, tell me about but it. But it's good tears. <laughs> like sometimes it's like,、oh, but it's good tears. Like it's, <laughs> it's honestly, it it is going to be the hardest thing that、yes. anybody would do. But you're doing it for you and on、yeah. your own terms,、mm-hmm. and it's your dream and you're creating your own financial wealth. Like it literally, I tell anybody who is truly. Really on the fence about being an entrepreneur. Yeah, literally, just do it. Like it is. <laughs> you won't regret it. it. Just do it. You won't regret it. Like yeah, it, it's, it's been、true. the best decision I've ever made. So, ah,、oh, that's so nice. Yes, and yes. no, it's true. And I think that you need like a really strong, supportive group by you as well. Like you、yeah. cannot. I'm going to tell you right now. 
not you, sorry, I'm talking about to the audience. I'm gonna tell you right now, you cannot be with people and family members that are gonna talk down on you all the time. Oh, that's right. Like, oh, you lost that sale, I told you, you we weren't gonna do it. Oh, that deal didn't go through it, well, I told you so. Or show me what you can do. No, like yeah. those people are so toxic for you while you're trying to build yourself and build your business and gain your confidence. And you cannot be around those people, period. Yeah, no, I, that's a very good advice. Yeah. I think that's really strong advice. Honestly, I think yeah. you have to, you have to keep your circle around people who are positive, who mm -hmm. reinforce what you're trying to do. And that, you know, essentially can motivate you and uplift you because it is, you're already going to be, you know, dealing with some other tough so things. Many things. You don't need that other outside negative reinforcement. Yeah. So that's actually really good. Thankfully, I haven't had to experience that so much. My family has yeah. been super supportive. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I think that, um, I think that, you know, that comes along with that confidence as well that we talked mm -hmm. about in the beginning. Like when you really truly love what you're doing and you have that confidence, it's not much anybody can tell you. You know, you just, <laughs> you're gonna do you it just, anyway. Like, you're, you're like, you can keep talking, but I still <laughs> it, and I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> yeah, and then like you said, you never, you don't feel like you worked a day in your life after you started LYS. And I feel the same way because like when I research ingredients, when I do things, it, it, it doesn't feel like work. It mm -hmm. feels like a passion project that I'm doing yeah. and I want to create something for the world, for people to see. And if they like it, great. If they don't, I will love feedback. Why didn't yeah. it work for you? Why, Why didn't, didn't you work? like it? And yeah. And for, yeah. for future reference. I love that. How long have yeah. you been an entrepreneur? How long ago um, has it been when you? So I was doing yeah. uh, therapy for a while after college and everything training but I was always doing something on the side kind of like what you said I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I always did something on the side boring, and yeah. then um when I finally found cannabis that that was when I was like oh my god this is a medicinal plant I need to you know put it in skincare and um that was so so kind of I actually started researching around like 2015 okay uh, while I had another company and then I fully launched in 2017 December so now it's 2021. Can you wow. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's yeah. so exciting. Like I cannot wait to have that sort of longevity like you when we get to that point. I mean, that yes, you're oh, going to do great. So awesome. You're already doing so good. Thank you. Thank what you. What place, like you where, where can, <clears throat> where can we find LIS? So Retail. right now we have our own website, um, D2C, um, and then we also are in Sephora. We're online right now. So, mm -hmm. um, so right now we're, you can't get us in store at the moment, um, hopefully in the future. Mm -hmm. um, yes. but, <laughs> right, you know, but right now we are um, on Sephora.com and on our website as well. Oh, yeah. So, and I hope maybe I can go global soon and all yes. kinds of things. We're working on lots of things because I, I really think like there's an opportunity to expand since we're focusing online to get yeah. it into the hands of more people. Cause we have a lot of people reach out in, mm -hmm. um, you know, other countries that want to try the product, but mm -hmm. you know, we're a small team. So we're trying to get to that next step to be able to offer in in other countries as well and then when you mentioned global were you thinking of certain countries that you wanted to launch next yeah you know I think strategically probably I'll start with like English speaking countries because uh -huh. I think that's naturally easy so probably the UK uh -huh. and Australia uh -huh you know, maybe to start. And then I'd like to then expand even deeper in Southeast Asia. Cause I think mm -hmm. that like, there's just a huge opportunity, yeah, huge but, um, but I think starting with Australia and New Zealand there would probably oh, make the most nice. sense because, mm -hmm. you know, the language barrier is not as hard. And then once I expand and grow and can get a team, then yeah. maybe I can start to, to do, you know, maybe some more popular countries like in mm -hmm. Europe, that, you know, aren't necessarily, um, then I can, sure. sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, no, no, sorry no, to no, cut no, you off. No, 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 um, I'm done. I was just saying, yeah, let me know if you have any contacts. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. I love that we're on the same way. Yeah. Like, I was going to say after this, I'm going to email you a bunch of, um, things and people okay. that I've like actually worked with as well. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. see if, if you're interested in, you know, exploring that way. And, um, if we'd ever do events in, cause I used to, um, go to London a lot for Kana. And if we ever have events, we should totally collaborate and do something together. Yes. I would love, love, yeah, love that. So Absolutely. Yay. Okay. This is, <laughs> it's, a, it's a date.
So before we go, um, I wanted to announce that we are actually doing a giveaway together. And you're putting so many goodies in the giveaway bag. Yay, so I can am. Can you tell I, us what, what you're putting? Yes, I wanted to just like go crazy and give <laughs> everyone opportunity to try all it's of our the long stuff. list. I was like, whoa. Yay. So we have like all the brushes are included. Yes. So which Thank is really you. great. We want everybody to experience our brushes, which we don't talk about enough, but they're amazing tools mm -hmm. to come you know, create your application. We have our cream blush, which is one of our hero selling products. Um, so I think everyone will really enjoy that. Our primer is in there. We have bronzer and setting powder wow. as well. Um, we also have um, our lip oil, which is signature lip oil that I think everyone will enjoy. So really it's essentially the full line yeah. for the brand that, wow. that they will get to try mm -hmm. along with your products because you've yeah. been extremely generous also. We have um, we have a hydration kit that we're giving away. It's a toner, lavender sleeping mask, and the lit oil. So I feel like our products together is going to work really well. Both are super clean, really light, mm -hmm. and you also have skincare in yours. I think, yep. I don't even know. Um, I am so excited for this and I want to see who the winner is yeah after we gonna, yeah i think people are gonna go crazy to get their hands yeah. on that stuff which is great yes. and then yeah. you mentioned um the lip oil that that's like really popular everyone really loves i think i think our creative director lisa tried it lisa have you tried it i can have. you come on and tell us about oh hi hi lisa hi lisa product placement but yeah, look at it. I love that. Perfect. Uh, lip oil is actually my favorite product. I like use it so really cute. single day. Can I, I love see it? it? Does it come out in like oil form or is it more like gel? Uh, it's like a a gel that becomes an oil almost, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's it's the closest thing I can describe it as is it. It's more like a lip gloss that people would traditionally be used to, uh -huh. but it doesn't have the sticky factor. So it's more um, like an oil on the lip, but with mm -hmm. more of a lip gloss texture, you get the shine like a lip gloss. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be extremely like glossy on the lips. Um, but it doesn't like stick. But it doesn't <laughs> like stick, but it's like gives you that like hydration you need I love that. um so yeah it's like a perfect um balance i think between like a lip oil but it's not super thin like some mm -hmm. lip oils to where you like your you lips can't even see the shine. dry exactly oh, okay, you can't okay. see the shine yeah you you get the best of both worlds yeah is that what you're wearing it. right now yes I and i just it. have a, a little lip liner on with it but yeah this is what i i wear like like all day <laughs> and it lasted for so long the whole time that we we're chatting too yeah no it's I love beautiful. it thank you what else did you try Lisa um oh I just wanted to point out that this has vitamin E in it which I use on my lips religiously because I have really chapped lips and nothing really seems to like help me get rid of that except for vitamin E oil uh -huh. and so like the whole summer, I don't really like to use a lot of makeup. So mm. I've actually just been using the pressed powder and the lip oil along oh, with the skin. Nice. And that has been really helpful for me. And I didn't even break out at all considering I use a face mask every single day. Mm. I love it. And you just came back from New York too. It was so hot over there. Oh, and you were still using the foundation, um, Keisha's foundation, and it's fine. You didn't break out and it didn't like clog pores or anything. Yeah, she has some really great ingredients in there. And your skin is so beautiful too, Lisa. So beautiful. So <laughs> thanks for that awesome testimony. I love that. That's so sweet. Yeah, I'm so excited to see who's going to get this package. Yes, yes. Everybody enter immediately. I think you're yes. going to love the products and we can't wait to hear your feedback for sure. So Lisa, how do they enter? Um, Kana's Instagram and LYS. Yes, both Instagram accounts will have a post on it and you just enter that way. And then when do we announce winner? Um, um, I would say the 24th. The yeah. 24th? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So don't forget to enter. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> and thank you so much, Tisha, for everything. And I'm going to go ahead and email you um, information for like UK and Europe. There's just some people and things that I've experienced with. And hopefully the information can help you. And looking forward to meeting you in person. Yay. And thank collaborate you. on like an event or something. We, should, we definitely need to do it. And I'm so excited to have met you. Thanks for this opportunity. It's oh, been awesome. I love meeting amazing new founders. It's the best part of my job, honestly. Yes, yes. I know. Me too. And I'm we're, so a, happy. we're a small community, so we have yes. to stick together and we yes, have to like, help each other out. I love it. So yeah. thank, thank you, you so, much. so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. We'll talk, talk soon. To you soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye.